everybody, Renee here coming to you from Good Enough Mother World Headquarters, which is, of course, the home of the perfectly imperfect, because I want to share with you a little bit about my recent drive for the 2016 Camaro. So basically, the instructions were pick up your car and return it in three days to Salt Lake City Airport. He, my drive partner, I, Kristen Barclay, got the biggest, baddest, blackest Camaro around. It was the Camaro SS V8 manual transmission. I actually learned how to drive on a manual transmission and I really like them, but uh, that was when I was 16. I'm now 53 almost, so you do the math. Continue on Utah 2, 24 south for five miles. Now we had a very ambitious agenda. We were gonna head up to North Dakota, then down to South Dakota, then over to Wyoming, then back to South Dakota, then back through Wyoming, and then end in Salt Lake City. Day one, we head up to Fargo, North Dakota, and we end up checking in stop number one at the Fargo Air Museum as part of our Find New Roads journey. Now, I wanna show you guys this. This is a model of a drone. Something like this is actually being used. It's in service. This one has a wingspan of 116 feet. There is a second model with a wingspan of 130 feet. This is called the Global Hawk. Now get this. It is so super sensitive that it can actually, from 60,000 feet, not only see that you're smoking a cigarette on the ground, but identify the type. Did you know that about a drone? Boom! Because I didn't. Clearly obvious by my enthusiasm. So from the Fargo Air Museum, we just kind of meandered along. We found a cool looking cemetery. We found an old house. We gassed up at a place. I saw a train. More coffee, another pit stop, and 194 miles to go before we rest. And then from there, we went on to Deadwood, South Dakota, population just over 1,200. Named so because of the dead trees that were found in its gulches, but also equally well known as the place where Wild Bill Hickok was killed. So then from there, it was Devil's Tower National Monument. Now that was something fantastic. You know what this is known for, don't you? Devil's Tower, Wyoming was the first national monument erected in this country by Theodore Roosevelt in 1915. It was so amazing because you could see this thing from probably seven, eight, ten miles away. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. Then we got a chance to get up close and personal. We're here in uh, Wyoming at the base of Devil's Tower. This is very significant among Native Americans and it was declared the first national monument in 1906 by President Roosevelt. We're having a blast in this vehicle. I have to say it's actually really comfortable. Not only does it look awesome, sleek, athletic design, feels great, but it's really comfortable too. Thank you for calling our stars. This is Mandy. How may I help you on your final Trip. Yes, on star. Hi Angie. Yes, I'd like to book a hotel room for tonight in Green River, Wyoming. I'm trying to get to the Hampton Inn actually in Green River. The Hampton Inn. Yeah, can you check that? Oh, for sure. From Devil's Tower, we headed out to Sturgis, South Dakota. You know what Sturgis, South Dakota is known for, right? <laughs> It's known for the Black Hills Motor Classic, commonly known as the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. And then it was whoosh, on our way to Mount Rushmore. So we're driving in the Camaro and I'm driving up and I remember seeing it around the corner and thinking, well, that's pretty unremarkable. It doesn't really look that big until I got there. And then it's really amazing. If you're looking for a place to go with your kids, a family, whatever, Mount Rushmore is really, really the place to go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. From there, it was on to Green River, Wyoming. The problem is we didn't get started until about 5.30 that night, and we had miles and miles, hundreds of miles to go that night before we got to Green River. So we drove most of the evening uh, into the early morning, minimal stopping, got to Green River, Wyoming at about 2.30. We decided to stop in Park City and have lunch. Of course, we also took in a few of the uh, tourist destinations. I mean, don't forget, Park City was once the site of the Winter Olympics, so there was a lot to see there. All good things must come to an end, and so find new roads for me comes to an end, and I gotta turn in my Camaro. If you're 
traveling with a family, I highly recommend taking a road trip. The thing about a road trip that's so great is that from the moment you get in the car, you're on an adventure. We saw things and we did things and we experienced things and we met people that uh, we might not have ever had a chance to do had we been flying. If you guys have any questions, let me know. You know, I'm reviewing cars more and more here. Uh, so if you have a question, a comment, a concern about whatever car I drove, uh, please leave your comment here and I will do my best to answer it. All right. Remember, everybody, you don't have to be perfect, just good enough.